Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Okay, so it's the wrong wand. Hey everyone, today I am of course talking about the new Cinderella film and this is probably going to be quite a contradictory review, self-contradictory, because I'm quite confused with how I feel about this because on the one hand, I don't like Cinderella as a story. I've seen so many pantos and interpretations and adaptations that I'm just fed up with the story of Cinderella and I wasn't looking forward to this. On the other hand, Hannah Bodden Carter, and also there are a lot of good points about this which I will talk about. Also this won't be entirely spoiler free but I guess it's kind of hard to spoil Cinderella when pretty much everybody knows the story and it does pretty much stay true to the story. So because I do completely adore Hannah Bowden Carter and I probably wouldn't have watched this if she wasn't in it, I'll get straight with that. First of all she narrates the entire thing so that is fantastic and the fact that it's narrated captures a kind of storytelling essence to it which I think is great and something that I love with kind of fairy tale stories, you need that storyteller. And she is in it, she has one actual scene, which I was a little bit disappointed about, but her scene is brilliant and I think it's a turning point, and I'll talk about that soon. And the pumpkin is great when she turns the pumpkin in, into a carriage, but when it's growing and getting bigger and bigger, it's one of the hilar most hilarious things I've ever seen. And the scene I do think is very magical, and there are a few things about it that I love. When Cinderella's dress transforms, I think that is just beautiful, very, very captivating moment and her glass slippers are very stunning. Uh, they've come a long way from the flat glass slippers that are in the classic animation, but they are very nice. And how beautiful is the carriage? I wasn't really sure what the carriage would look like, and I kind of expected it would be the kind of the traditional glass sort of thing, but it's not, and it, it looks absolutely stunning. Thoroughly impressed with that. So far, so good. What's the bad thing? Everything that comes before that, that for me is the turning point, and not just because Helena Bonham Carter's in that scene, because everything after that for me is great. But up until that point when the magic actually kicks in, it just feels like any other film, and not in a good way. It's monotonous, I don't think the pacing is very good, I, and I mean this in the, the best way possible, I think we needed to see more of Cinderella being punished and treated unfairly, because I don't think that was emphasised enough to get the kind of to capture just how much she suffered. They did it a little bit, but not enough for my liking, and I don't mean that in a horrible way. Uh, I think we needed to see more of the animals as well. But then once the magic hit, then the scene at the palace and her encounters with the prince are very sweet. And I hate mushy romantic love stories, so for me to enjoy it, that's a big thing. And there was a lot of humour, I think, especially in, in, after the magic started. So for me, it's very much a film of two halves. The first half, before the magic starts, didn't enjoy it at all. The second half was actually quite pleasant. The one thing I did not like about this is the soundtrack. Throughout the entire thing there was just not one one song or one piece of music that stood out for me and I think that's a real shame when you've got a film that does have so much potential and it's been so hyped up and then I'm watching it and there's just no music that grabs me. Nothing that kind of sticks in the mind or not in a good way and that for me is a big letdown with this kind of film. All things considered, it's well acted, the costumes are great, the pacing for the second half is very nice. Uh, well directed, Kenneth Branagh. Cast is fine, Helena Bonham Carter is great. So it's not a bad film, and I guess if I'd never ever ever seen or heard of Cinderella before this, I'd have nothing to compare it to, I wouldn't be tired of the same old story again and again, and it would be a little bit more interesting. So I think in a way that's a little bit unfair of me to say that it's not as good as what it perhaps could be. I, I'm fed up of Cinderella and I, I am fed up of this let's make all of our classics into live action. I'm one of those people who thinks that's not necessary. Especially Dumbo. I mean Tim Burton will do a fantastic job with Dumbo. I'm 100% certain of that. But still, do we really need a live action Dumbo? I wouldn't have thought so. But Dumbo is completely irrelevant to this conversation. Cinderella is not a bad film. Personally, I don't think it is a great film. There are positives to it, there are negatives to it. I'm, I cannot say whether or not I like it because I'm just, there's too much going on there. So if you're a Cinderella fan, watch it. If you're not, don't. I think it's pretty much as simple as that with this film. Please do let me know in the comments what you thought of this. And if you'd never seen Cinderella before, I'm assuming you've heard of it, but if you'd never seen it before, I'd love to know how you found this film. Uh, suggestions for other films, let me know. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.